What's good, y'all? Today's video is on Sanat Kumara. He's from Venus. He was an angel kicked out of heaven. To me, I think he's who they call Satan. Lord Sanat Kumara is the founder of the Great White Brotherhood, which is composed of masters of the ancient wisdom, also known as the Ascending Masters, and volunteers from other worlds have joined together to advance spiritual evolution on Earth. The Great White Brotherhood is a spiritual fraternity of ascending beings which was founded by and is still directed by Lord Sanat Kumara. From the later part of the 20th century, he now shares the role of planetary director with the Lord Buddha. According to Elizabeth Van Buren, the Brotherhood once maintained earthly headquarters hidden in a remote valley near a sacred lake in Old Tibet until relatively recently, when possibly due to the surmised threat, the surmised threat of communist China. They withdrew allegedly through tunnels to an alternative earthly location in Peru, where they are still reported as having an earth base. Lord Sanat Kumara is an advanced being in the ninth level of initiation who is regarded as the Lord or Regent of Earth and of the humanity and is thought to be the head of the spiritual hierarchy of Earth who dwells in Shambhala, also known as the city of Enoch. Shambhala is said by the adherence to the ascended master teachings to be a floating city manifested on the etheric plane somewhere above the Gobi Desert in the borderlands of Mongolia. The Great Ray Brotherhood is a spiritual fraternity of ascended beings including Lord Sanat Kumara, long since dedicated to the eventual salvation of mankind and the establishment of divine law again in this three-dimensional reality. Scriptures, especially the Mahabharata, say that it is Sanath Kumara who comes down to help the divine plan of creation when Lord Krishna came to be. He was born to Lord Krishna as his son and he was named Pradyamna. Sanath Kumara incarnates himself through the divine mother Rukmini as Pradyamna on completion of his work. He again gets back to his original position and takes the seat in Shambhala as Sanath Kumara. These details are given in the last chapters of the Mahabharata. Shambhala is ruled over by a line of kings of Shambhala known as Kulika or Kalkai kings, a monarch who upholds the integrity of the Kala Chakra Tantra. In the teachings of Vajrayana Buddhism, the king of Shambhala is often metaphorically referred to as the king of the world. Shambhala was thought by the the Tibetans to be somewhere north of Lake Manasa Rovar and its adjacent Mount Kailasa, a sacred mountain in Tibet, where it is thought that all the dragon currents intersect. Just something I want to point out. The secret doctrine and states that they are one and the same group of beings as the seven Dayani Buddhas, the seven archangels, and the seven Elohim. Alright, what's good, y'all? My bad, but I'm going to have to end the video right there. Stay tuned for part two.